In this module, we'll be talking about that an example to see that the, how do we calculate and interpret these different cut points. Since we already know that quantiles that most commonly use are quartiles, deciles, and percentiles, and we've already talked about that how they are equivalent to each other. So in this example, I'll be talking about the percentiles only. For the calculations of a percentile, we take the first step where we order our data into an ascending order. In the second step, we assign an index value to each data point. In the third step, we calculate PK by, by substituting the value of K into this formula. And as a last step, that's the fourth step, we see that a data point that cor corresponds to the index calculated at step three will be a required percentile. Let's look at this data where the researcher is trying to see the effect of velocity on ground reaction force in dogs with lameness from a torn cranial cruciate ligament. The dogs were walked and trotted over a force platform and the GRF was recorded during a certain phase of their performance. Given 20 observations, show the mean of five force measurements per dog when trotting. In this data, we have these 20 means. And if we want to see that how many dogs had, had walked until the certain point, we will calculate the percentiles out of it. I'm here just calculating three different percentiles. 25th percentile, 50th percentile, and 75th percentiles. If we look at the 25th percentile, we substituted this value 25 right here, and that value turned out to be 5.25. In this data, if we order these observations, and assign them index, we'll see that 5.25 value is not quite in the middle of fifth and sixth value, but it is more closer towards the fifth value. We will use an interpolation method to calculate this percentile value, which can be obtained by fifth value, which is the lower value, plus 0 0.25, which is a fraction. This whole value is going to be above fifth value, and the difference of sixth value and fifth value. It turned out to be the fifth value is 27.2, 0 0.25 is a fraction, and 27.4 is a sixth value, and 27.2 is a fifth value. If you solve this up, the value turn out to be 27.25. Hence, this 27.25 is our 25th percentile. In the similar way, this was done for the 50th percentile and 75th percentile, where we got 50th percentile is 10.5th value where 10.5th value is after the 10th value and before the 11th value. So it turned out to be 31.1, which is apparently in the middle of 30.7 and 31.5. And similarly for the 75th percentile, it is some value between 15th observation and 16th observation. And this value turned out to be 33.525. We already know that first quartile is equals to the 25th percentile and it turned out to be 25.25. This value can be interpreted as that in our data, 25%, which means five dogs have their GRF measurements less than 25.25 Newtons. And we, since in our data we have 20 observation, five is actually the 25% of our overall data. And 75% which is going to be 15. So therefore, 15 dogs have the GRF, GRF measurements above 25.25 Newtons. Similarly, for the, sec for the second quartile, which is the 50th percentile, the value turned out to be 31.1. This value shows that in our data, 50%, which is 10 dogs out of 20, have their GRF measurements less than 31.1 Newtons, and the rest of the 50% have their GRF measurements above 31.1 newtons. And similarly, for the third quartile, which is P75, it is 33.5 to 5, which shows that in our data 75, which is 15 out of 20 dogs, have their GRF measurements less than 33.5 to 5 newtons. 
and the rest of the 25% have their GRF measurements above 33.525 newtons. In a similar way, one can calculate deciles and quartiles. One can also use the same method to, to have to calculate different other quartiles, quantiles. Quantiles also help us to talk about the location as well as the spread of our data. Thank you.